Okay, so in this question, they talk about reflex angle TOP. So it goes like that. Guys, the angles always go like that. You don't have to worry about that. What you do is you just construct your triangle. Now this minus five is an X value, so that would be here, and this minus 12 is a Y value. You then do Pythagoras to find the missing length, and you'd find that that is 13. And now you just pretend that we're gonna work from this angle here. So now cos alpha, that's question A, cos alpha is gonna be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and so cos alpha is gonna be negative five, over 13. Sin alpha is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is negative 12 over 13. Okay, so that's going to be for sin alpha. Tan alpha is going to be opposite over adjacent. So we can say tan alpha is opposite over adjacent. And so the negatives cancel, and so you end up with 12 over 5. Tan of 180 minus alpha, you can reduce that. So 180 minus alpha is in quadrant 2, and so that's just negative tan alpha. So it's negative of what we just got in question C. So it's going to be negative 12 over 5. Cos 180 minus, that just becomes negative cos alpha, and so that's just going to be the negative of what we got in A, and so the answer is going to be negative, negative 5 over 13, and that actually just becomes positive 5 over 13. And then lastly, question F, you would need to reduce that a little bit. Now, there are various ways to do this, okay? So if you do a different technique to me, that's fine, just make sure you get to the same answer, but the most common approach that most students would use is to minus 360. And so that's going to be the same as 180 minus alpha. So that's going to be the same as cos 180 minus alpha, which is negative cos alpha. And that's the previous answer that we just got, which was negative. And then cos alpha was negative 5 over 13. And so we ended up getting positive 5 over 13.